Hello, Namaste, a warm welcome from Jagisha. Today, let's paint a peacock feather on a stone using glass colors. First things first, the list of material that I have used is mentioned in the description box. Also, I will be elaborating on the same as the video proceeds. First, let's give a white base color. I have used titanium white acrylic color for the same. As you must be knowing that acrylic colors are available in two variants. Student and artist acrylic colors. Prefer to use the artist acrylic colors as they are rich, thick. That's why even a single layer, a single coat is enough. Now let's sketch the peacock feather. Use any circular object to make a circle and then develop the peacock feather in and around this circle. I have used a regular pencil for making this sketch. Once the sketch is done, then it's time to make an outline. While using glass colors, making outline on the shapes is an essential step because the glass colors are free flowing and they may mix with each other. So before applying glass colors, it is essential to make an outline on the various lines that we have drawn. Outliners are available in the form of tubes and tiny little bottles. I have used black, copper and blue colors for outline. These outliners are available in a dozen shades and you can also use green color if you have. I was running out of green color so I settled for only these three colors. The 3D outliners give a nice glitter finish once they dry up. And now it's time for filling these shapes with glass colors. I love glass colors because they are translucent, gorgeous and easy to use. Two precautions that you must take while using glass colors. One, hold the bottle inclined to the surface so that when you pour in the colors on the surface, air can escape. Otherwise, bubbles will be formed in the paint. And secondly, don't touch the bottle to the surface. Keep some space between the surface and the nozzle of the bottle so that again the air escapes. Even then, after taking these two precautions, if at all there are bubbles formed in your paint, then using a barbecue stick or a regular toothpick, you can burst these bubbles. But be quick in doing so because the glass colors thicken very quickly and then bursting the bubbles may become difficult and they may end up becoming a part of your painting. Also for blending the colors you can use a regular brush or a barbecue stick. Here I have used a mere toothpick for blending the colors. The glass colors are available in variety of colors. I have used submarine blue, sky blue, green, 
white brown orange once the blend once the blending is done then let these colors dry up if you like give an outline to the complete picture once again after filling the glass colors and after of course and after they are dried up and our painting is almost done I enjoyed painting the peacock feather on stone using glass colors and I hope you enjoyed watching it so go ahead grab your glass colors and make a stunning art bye bye